guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at this new robot crawler sent by rcmoment.com. For your very own, check out the link down below. Now, this here costs about $60, which is actually pretty cheap for a robot. So I'm really excited to see what this is capable of. I know it does actually have a cannon on it and it crawls, so it's actually a great fighting robot. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. All right, so this here's our box and on the cover, it kind of shows the robot in all its glory. So it does have like a laser as well as the capability of shooting cannons. Uh, in addition, it is a crawler and it's a 2.4 gigahertz remote. It's called a Space Warrior. So it has like a, almost like an alien kind of look to it. Uh, and then kind of here on the side says main function that it fires 12 darts to five meters uh, in which the 12 darts are included. Uh, it's got a weapons elevator so you can actually increase or decrease the height. Uh, then it's got six armors that actually explode off up upon impact, so that's actually very cool. Uh, and it's got an all-terrain handling uh, in which it's got different lights and sounds. Uh, and yeah, so a very interesting kind of concept here. Uh, on the back here kind of shows you the different formats that it comes with. So it's got the basic functionality where there's no armor at all. Uh, and then there's kind of like no pieces, but it does come with the cannons in each one. Uh, the one we're looking at is actually the assembly that's fully completed. It comes with the cannon, as well as the stickers, as well as the laser guidance. So very nice, uh, full package here. Uh, so and on this side here, kind of talks about a little bit in more detail. So it does have a battle brain, which it detects three hits, uh, and then it'll show you like how many hits you have remaining based on the LEDs. In addition, it's got an infrared sight, so it aims at your target, which it can shoot at. It's got armors that explode off, as well as a blaster elevator so it can increase, decrease height, as well as a disc launcher capability. So very cool. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's on the inside. All right, so we got some nice looking stickers here to decorate our actual robot. So I'll be doing that as well. Uh, and then, let's check this out here. Okay, so we have ourselves an instruction manual kind of explaining the basic fund fundamentals on how to actually start it up. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty simple design here. So it does take double A, so do keep that in mind. You need six double A batteries for the actual uh, uh, robot itself. So let's go ahead and unzip this guy and see what it looks like underneath. So this here is our crawler. It looks almost like a crab. Uh, so some pieces are coming off so uh, interesting kind of concept here uh, it's made out of plastic so it's actually quite uh, sturdy as well I'm pushing down weight on it. it's actually not collapsing at all these here are army armor pieces that we have to actually put on the robot itself uh, then in addition here we actually have our cannon uh, which is zip tied as well so let's take that out not exactly sure what this is but it looks like it may be the cannon mechanism uh, then we have our actual, oh wow, look at that. So this will actually ha uh, holster the 12 different missiles. Uh, and here is all the other small little parts to it. So let's take those out. So we got a lot of different armor pieces. So this here is our head. Uh, very interesting look to it. It's got LEDs on the top here. Uh, and then it looks like it's got like a brain inside there as well. It's like almost like a electronic kind of uh, gadgets inside there. Uh, this here is our laser targeting system. So you just pull that out and we're good to go. Uh, and then here's our missiles. Looks like Nerf kind of bullets. So very interesting. Let's go ahead and put this all together and see how it looks all together as one. Alright, so our robot is finally complete and as you can tell this thing's got a lot of small details to it. Um, the way it works is that uh, you actually put all the stickers on here. So it actually gives you the idea of custom ability and kind of be able to create your own kind of creation, which is very nice. Now, uh, just some things to note. In particular, this robot here, these armor pieces all come off. So for instance, if this part gets hit, it'll actually pop off just like that. That's because inside here there's actually like a spring. Uh, so it kind of like helps pop it off and then these just kind of snap right back in place just like so now in addition to that, uh, this robot actually has a laser, which actually allows you to target because it actually has a cannon in it So if we turn on the laser uh, Kind of shows you right there. See 
So really interesting concept. Uh, it's actually a real laser, so it will actually hurt your eyes. So don't look at it directly. Uh, and then, you know, you have a cannon on here, which actually revolves around and shoots the actual bullets. Uh, and then you actually have a helmet here with LEDs on top that'll indicate the life. So let's go ahead and actually like turn it on. Um, but before we do, let's go ahead and take a look at the remote. Now the controller itself is almost like a Super Nintendo kind of controller. So it's very simple with the controls here. And then you have, I'm not sure what these do, but it looks like elevation and like shooting. So let's go ahead and turn them on. So he's actually got an LED inside here. Uh, there's a blue LED in here. And then he's got three LEDs on top indicating the health. Uh, so when he does get attacked, the health will actually decrease. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Now, uh, in terms of the controller itself, uh, you hit up and move forward. So let's turn it on. There we go. So we're connected. That's forward. Uh, that's back. Uh, this is right. And there's left. Then uh, you have these other buttons here, kind of like giving you a directional spin. Uh, another one. So kind of pretty interesting concept. Um, so over here we have a few different colors. So for instance, let's try out one of these colors here and see what it does. So this is yellow. So that was like a charge attack. Uh, it moves faster that way, so very interesting. Uh, then we have blue, which will actually, I believe, there you go, it raises the cannon. And then yellow will decrease the cannon. So I'll try it again. So pretty cool concept on how they did that. Um, you can see the lever itself over here. Let's take a closer look, there we go. And then, you know, with the laser on, you can actually like, kind of target uh, as you want to. So pretty cool. See how that looks over here. Yeah. And then let's see how that looks over here. There we go. Uh, so let's lower it, raise it. Now, another thing that we have is the cannon itself. So I'm assuming that's the red button right here that's left. So let's try this out and see if we can actually uh, aim for the camera itself. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> so that's actually pretty good in terms of targeting goes. So it actually aimed at the camera quite well. So let's try it against the wall and kind of show you how that works. So kind of gives you an idea. Uh, pretty cool, you know, how the cannon works itself. Um, so let's try this. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try to uh, actually aim at the camera again, but this time without the uh, the system in my hand. So let's see how this works. I'm gonna go and move forward. Uh, I'm gonna turn. Okay, I think that's about good. And let's go ahead and lower the cam the cannon. There you go. There you go. Ah, there you go, right on the money. So very cool concept that they have here. Um, and then you know, obviously if the if these come off like that, uh, the health will actually decrease on the top, so the, the, the lights actually go down. And then three hits and you're out kind of situation. So really cool concept, uh, very interesting robot, and I really do enjoy it. I think it's really cool, especially with like fights. So definitely do uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll be putting in a lot of battles as well. And now if you guys have any questions about this Space Warrior, feel free to comment down below. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.